Snook B, man. I'm originally from Tyler. Shit, I moved up to Dallas. Shit, like sixth grade summer. So shit, I said I'm from Tyler, but shit, I'm kind of raised in the D. So shit, I put on for the D. Fuck. I put on for the Rose too, though. Definitely. So, what is your intake on the DFW hip hop scene as of now? Uh, as far as the DFW hip hop scene, I mean, I'm, I'm starting to, I mean, as far as me just being just dedicated and start working on music more, I see more of, you know, artists more than I used to see, you know. Usually niggas just focus on like mainstream, uh, you know, shit everybody else listening to, but, or, you know, some niggas introduce you into, you know, underground niggas, but now that I'm kind of in tune with the music scene, you know, I be on the lookout for everybody on the upcoming too. So we got we got some spitters and dollars, you know what I'm saying? I don't I mean, I don't think the spitters that I hear are at the top of their game right now, you know what I'm saying? Or are they getting what they need right now, are they doing what they need to be doing to just be out there, but as far as Dallas, yeah, I think we got talent. You caught my attention, you know, shooting a video with Tim P, real dope video, and you know you do all your videos with Tim P. Yeah. Speak on you and Tim P's relationship. Uh like I was telling my cousin on the way over here, you know what I'm saying, like, Tim, you know what I'm saying, we, this is what happened, like two years ago, I'm just take y'all back a little bit. Like two years ago, you know what I'm saying, I was talking to Tim, you know, like, yeah, man, I'm a den, man, come here and shoot a video, man. You ain't gotta pay nothing, just drive a den, man, come shoot a video, this way even den, you know what I'm saying, before anybody just really, I mean, niggas knew, but niggas really just didn't knew, you know, about the whole movie making shit, you know what I'm saying, so, that was like two years ago, I, and uh, I never went out there. But I ended up moving from North Dallas back to Duncanville. He, he ended up moving back to Duncanville, so shit. As soon as I got back to Duncanville and we linked up on the phone call, I say like hours later, you know what I'm saying? He had the dust up, hey man, let's go shoot a video. You know what I'm saying? That was the first video I ever shot with him, you know what I'm saying? I guess after that, we just clicked back up. Like shit, we played. Football on the same team at Duncanville. I went to middle school with him and everything, so. Right. Yeah, and then showed me love like a brother, man. Speak on what, what you think separates Tim P from a lot of other videographers. Uh, what separates Tim P from a lot of other videographers is his passion for it, you know. A lot of other videographers do it for the money, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that's the wrong reason to do it. I mean, you pick your own comfort zone with it, but for somebody to be passionate about it and not even care about what type of money they bringing in, they just care about the quality that they give to the people, like, you just get more out of the project, you see more out of the project, you envision more to the project, you know what I'm saying? So, that's my take on that. Definitely, so what DFW artists that you haven't worked with that you wanna work with in the future? Uh, probably uh, DMV Chevy. Uh, KT, just some, some niggas I went to Duncanville with and shit that I ain't just, I know they would, but I just, I've been doing so much shit with me, man, I ain't been able to just reach out because I'm trying to set myself in stone and then, you know, reach out, but, you know, I would like damn near a lot of people in Dallas, like Chevy, KT, them a couple niggas out the DMV camp, uh, Um, mm. I mean, shit, I don't know, man. Just whoever I hear that got some talent, man. There's a couple of people out there that got talent, but, you know, right now, like, honestly, man, I'm just gonna lay it out on the table. A lot of Dallas artists just don't fuck with Dallas artists, you know what I'm saying? I'm not even gonna sugarcoat the shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas might wanna fuck with me now, but, like, just them names off rip, I know them probably some niggas that will fuck with me just... I'll blank, you know what I'm saying? Like, just cause they knew me since back then, but as far as the other niggas, I, I respect their talent, I don't mind working with them, but at the same time, like, they didn't want to fuck with me before I started doing the things I'm doing. Not saying that you should just fuck with anybody, but just, that shit just fueled my fire, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no grudges against nobody, but it just, I want to be the nigga that when I make it, you know what I'm saying, I'm the nigga pulling up other artists from the city, cause I feel like that's how Dallas missing. You got outcasts pulling up niggas from Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? You got 
whoever in New York, Jay Z, or whoever game, whoever you know, what I'm saying they pulling up niggas through their generation. But you get to see one person from Dallas, even if we, it was just a one hit wonder, you get to see them go back through and start bringing the youth up. You know what I'm saying? And sure. that's what I feel like Dallas missing. So sure. far as the artist, just cause he from Dallas, you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even mind getting on track with him just cause. Same city, we for the same grind, you know what I'm saying? Fuck a grudge, fuck a beef. I still can live and do a track with them, but, you know, it's it's kind of hard to do shit like that with how the culture is right now, you know what I'm saying? So it's going to take a group of real niggas that's hungry, that's eating right now, to take over and just change the whole culture of it. Most definitely. Um, I ask this to a lot of artists, probably in every interview, that is from Dallas, and the question is, why isn't Dallas on the more mainstream levels like the Chicago's, the um the you know the Atlantas the New Yorks the LAs Houston's you know places of that nature. Uh, because I mean if you think about it, man, I'm not saying like the boogie and the dance shit. Like I love that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm not a hater of no new generation of music coming into nowhere. Like I fuck with that shit just like I fuck with rappers like myself with. Shit, I didn't. I used to write dance songs back in the day, so you know how could I hate on shit like that? So, but far as you know, what I'm saying dollars, like you never catch niggas for the passion. It's like the niggas that the niggas that make it in dollars, bro, is the niggas that just come with a song off the rip that everybody like, but they don't really have the passion to back them bars up when they do get on. You know what I'm saying? Not saying the niggas didn't. I'm just saying once you get on. You gotta have the actual talent level to bag those bars up and come with it, you know what I'm saying? And I think far as some of the people that are already made it in Dallas, like, they just, they didn't have a bar backup, you know what I'm saying? They want to hook genius like that, they just had one hook, you know what I'm saying? And then it probably could have, it probably could have went back to the youth, because Dallas could have kept his cell phone from how many people we got around here, we could have kept our cell phone. Mm -hmm. We could get our cell phone, I mean, three million views, you know what I'm saying, off rip. And then the people from here to go out to other places, word of mouth, so, but, mm, I that's how I feel like we're not on, you know what I'm saying, just, older niggas not coming back, bringing their youth up to stabilize just the grounds in Dallas, like, it's not going to be stable until people that get on start reaching back into the youth and setting these niggas in stone, you know what I'm saying, like, niggas in Houston, they show love, right. niggas here, we don't, that's why, like, you hear rap interviews, anything to do with rap in Texas, they gonna go to Houston first. You know what I'm saying? I got the gut feeling about it, you know. My goal is to bring it to Dallas, not go to Houston though, you know what I'm saying? Some niggas flake and go to Houston, and always love out there, no, I'm gonna bring it here. Yeah. For sure, so what do you think separates you from a lot of these Dallas artists? Uh, that probably go back to the passion, you know what I'm saying? And just the shit I done been through, and like the the natural talent that I have to just write, you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's not really hard for me. It's really like a joy in it, you know what I'm saying? Like like I said with Tim, like it's passion, you know what I'm saying? Like the passion that you put in it, like people respect that. Like a lot of people probably just hear the beat in the video right now, but when they go back and really listen to the bars, they you know what I'm saying? That's where the respect come in. Like damn that nigga, that nigga snuck eating, you know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, I feel like my passion level is just on extreme right now. I'm not saying that other niggas can't compete with that, but as far as, you know what I'm saying, me just putting myself out there, I feel like my passion is just out the roof, you know what I'm saying, for this music shit. What about the upcoming mixtapes? Uh, mixtape, trail at it, that hope coming soon, about the next two months. It's like a real diverse mixtape, you know, you got real shit, trail shit, you know what I'm saying, you got street shit, you got trap shit. I mean, anything you want, you're going to be able to go to the mixtape and hear, you know what I'm saying? Check me out as an artist. I know y'all y'all only see what I got videos for, so it gives you a chance to really, you know, see what the bar is about, you know. And I just, should really, I, I, uh, I, I just basically, like, I put a bet on it. Like, I bet you want to go check that hoe out. Because, like, when you check that bitch out, like, you automatically probably going to become a fan. Like, that hoe on some real shit. And then I got a uh, mixtape coming after that. And I might release a song. I'm going to release a couple songs off that mixtape. So let's know it's coming soon when you hear that second say drop. Uh, my cuz Ride D on there. So he eating on that hoe with me. So be on the lookout for that one. That's a song I feel like everybody's going to jam and like too. Black Magic coming soon. 
I'm just throwing some hint shit so when niggas look me up, y'all can go back like, oh, that shit really drops. That's about it. If you were to rank yourself in the city amongst the top lyricists or one of the most overall talented artists, where would you rank yourself? Uh, I mean, if you come on this show and somebody asks you that question, <laughs> And you don't say you number one, like I can't respect you at all. You know what I'm saying? Like, so of course I'm gonna put myself at the top. You know what I'm saying? That's why I do this shit. I do this shit to be at the top. You know what I'm saying? So I can't short myself under no man. You know what I'm saying? Unless I let the next man work harder than me. So if I know I'm putting blood, sweat, and tears in this shit, I'm not raking nobody over me. But you know what I'm saying? I give any nigga, you know, any nigga can shoot shots at me and see what happened though.